Who is City Boy? He's the egotistical buffoon who brags loudly about how much cash he's made on the market at otherwise pleasant dinner parties. For one period in my life, he was me. I, I worked for 12 years in the city at four different investment banks. And I suppose initially I, I was taken in by it somewhat. I, I found the, you know, the flash champagne drinking to be quite enjoyable, but um, then I started seeing a slightly darker side. People earning vast amounts of cash for not really achieving very much, just pushing around bits of paper. And then there's the whole kind of greedy, selfish arrogance. Just by good fortune, um, I was offered the opportunity to write a column. That was uh, a real opportunity for me to kind of expose and blow the lid on all the wrongdoing that I saw after two years of, of writing the column and then having the opportunity to, to write this book. I then called it a day, I quit my job. Oh, and we've unmasked him as well. City Boy is here. Geraint and Anderson. We're allowed to say that now, aren't we? Uh, you are, A yes, top yes. stock analyst at a major investment bank uh, and now an author. That's right, yeah. Yes, and there you were writing anonymously mm. about, I know in a fictional book, but about people you work with and you didn't like them very much, did you? Well, no, it wasn't. Actually, at my bank, they were quite nice and I'm not, you know, they, they, Dresdner Bank was a, was, a, was a good bank. I was slightly more concerned with the whole atmosphere in the city full stop, the mm. greed, the arrogance, the conspicuous consumption that makes everyone else in London feel like they're working in jobs, you know, and, and causes quite a degree of resentment. To but me how long were you doing that kind of job? Twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. <laughs> so not that worried. <laughs> no, no. Well, like, as I said, you know, those nasty bosses every year, year in, year out, they give you more and more cash and you kind of, you need an alternative career to move to. And I, I, I very, by good fortune, found that with, with writing the book and, 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 the, and the City Boy. Mm. Right. There's, one of you complaining that this, this item was sensationalist and simplistic, the implication being that all bank employees are overpaid and irresponsible, says Gillian. <laughs> uh, not the case for most city employees, she maintains. I mean, obviously, there are good and bad people yeah. in every business. I just think that in the city, there's a greater prevalence of arrogance, greed, materialism, the things that are my personal gripes with perhaps modern society being a bit of a hippie. Um, and so, of course, a generalisation by, by implication is always going to have, uh, it'd be, be, be overly simplistic. However, even John Tyner, for example, on, on insider trading, which, you know, which I've got a big problem with, because it's, it's not a victimless crime, he said it was rife, absolutely rife, and he's the guy who's um, supposed to be sorting it out by being the, the regulator. So, you know, there is a lot of problems in the city. Uh, including sexism, and in your book, you, you go out with somebody, uh, not you, because mm. it's not you, it's is not, it? No, no, not, no, 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 it's not no, you, no, it's a fictional character. It's Steve uh, Jones. OK, um, who goes to a, a, a club with a mate, and he's mm. using all these phrases about other women. Yes, yes. Like, Body from Baywatch, face from, like Crime Watch. From Crime Watch, yes. Yeah. Got a, yes, there's a few naughty ones in there. Um, I'll try and do the ones that are legally allowed to be aired yes. at this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> built for comfort, not speed. Okay. Good that, for my far, but far from good. Okay. <laughs> so these are the sorts of things that you heard. That those kind it, of. Yeah, it's a macho testosterone fueled culture. It's it's. I still still say about front office. It's about eighty percent men. Um, white, heterosexual, young men at that. And, and people paid a lot of money for, in some cases, really not doing very much, in your view? There are some clever guys in there, and women, of course, mm. who are doing um, some very smart things. But when you just had a bull market, well, it's stopped now, but from, you know, 2003 to, to roughly, you know, 2007, um, you could be sitting on your hands and making a fortune. I think in the three years after March 03, the stock market went up about 80%. So fund managers, even if they just tracked the market, could have made vast amounts of cash, especially those naughty hedge fund managers. I wonder whether the same bonuses that, that you experienced are being handed out now while we're in a credit crunch. Um, well, actually, the last bonuses were just a bit lower. My last bonus was actually the highest one I'd ever got. Which was how much? Oh, it, well, let's just say it was quite near to um, half a million pounds. For one year? Yes, that's the bonus. On top yeah. of a salary of? 120 grand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> nice work if you can get it. <laughs> but I was obviously a genius. What are you doing now? What, are you well, writing? Nice, yeah, um, I'm writing. I'm, I've got, well, I've written my book, City Boy, and also I'll be doing a, the column in the London paper. I'll right. be doing a new one, because the, it was the column in the London paper that gave me my break in the mm. first place. Um, and so, you know, that was, that was very fortunate. But basically, I'd like to, yeah, get into broadcasting. But if you were earning so much money, why did you pack it in? Well, that's a good question because ultimately I always had major misgivings about what I was doing. I didn't think it was contributing to society in a positive way. I started doing that job 
and I said I'd do it for five years, and that was 12 years ago. But so it's not all about money, you know. I, I, and also, <laughs> but it was for 12 years. <laughs> for, yeah, for 12 years. But you know, I've, I've developed. My ideas exactly. have developed. Okay. Nice right. to see you. The Thanks book's called much. City Boy. That's it's right. It's out today. Published today. Published today. You see, Sean, you. you could earn so much more money in the city, but would you be as happy as you are sitting next to me? Of course not. Ah, oh, is the where right we, sorry, answer. Sorry, where were you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got the Simple Minds frontman Jim Kerr with us. He's going to be joining us just after the break because he's involved. In fact, he helped set up a very special concert. Mm -hmm. He looks exactly the